Uh, hey guys, so it's, uh, what is it, Wednesday, March 25th, about 7.37 at night. Beautiful weather right now, absolutely beautiful weather down here in Jacksonville. This is the kind of weather that I like if you're going to be going out adventuring, doing all kinds of really cool stuff. I like weather like this. Nice, clear, sunny, warm. This is some good stuff. Uh, ever since we started this trip, we've had cold weather and rainy weather and not really cold, but kind of wet weather, all kinds of just nasty weather going on. Um, so this is nice. This is nice. Today we went off and we did some adventuring uh, and it was still that kind of crappy weather thing. Uh, but then about two o'clock, it all cleared away and it got clear outside and the weather and the temperature went up about seven degrees and it's been doing pretty good, right? So today we went off to uh, Timikuan. Now, what the hell do you call this? Um, it is called Timikuan Ecological and Historic Preserve. Uh, so that's a uh, national park over on the coast around here in uh, Jacksonville. That was pretty cool to go see. Uh, basically, it's an old plantation. So you get to go in there and you see the old plantation house and get to see all the little old slave quarters and all that kind of stuff. Overall, pretty kind of standard historic fare. Uh, the the uh, actual uh, the actual plantation I mean the actual plantation was you know a plantation it was a normal historic place but what was really cool is they have trails that, that go out from the plantation and those are really cool to wander through especially as somebody that's not a native Floridian because you can wander through there and they have all the palm trees and they have all the forest and it's all that real like Floridian woods that Floridian forest that I'm not used to yet so that was really nice they have about four miles of trails that you can either hike along or bike along and then we also biked along the road and even going out there biking along the road was very nice so that was a cool very nice thing to do for today and that's really you know, that's what we did we just went out there that's about it not a lot else to be honest with you to be honest with you I've shot this video like five times now this is like the fifth take of this video because I'm just not really sure what to say today a lot of times I get in front of almost all the time I, I get in front of this camera I hit the record button and then I'm talking to you guys and I can yabber on for 30 minutes almost about nothing even I know basically I'm talking about nothing but I can still yabber on for about 30 minutes over absolutely nothing but today I, ju I just keep clicking it on and then I start talking and then I get in the middle of what I'm saying and then I go yeah, I don't like that. And then I talk, and I get to the middle of what I'm saying, like, oh, that's not like crap. And then I talk, and I don't know. Maybe I'm having the, the equivalent of writer's block. Maybe I'm having vlogger's block today. I don't, I don't feel, I don't feel, feel it for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Because again, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, I love this one. I love this. I mean, this is just a beautiful setting. I get to sit here and talk, talk to you guys like I always do. But yet every time I try to get into something like really meaty, I have like some of these really, I have like really meaty, in-depth concepts to talk to you guys about. And every time, again, I'll, I'll get like five minutes into the video and then be, eh, that sucks. I almost never do that. True, truthfully. Whenever I do my videos, I, I almost never do a second take. Probably 98% of all my videos, 98% of all my videos are first take videos. I press that record button and then I just start talking to you and then I upload it. <laughs> and this is one of those days where I just keep talking to the camera, going, no, that sucks. Talking to the camera, no, that sucks. Talking to the camera, no, that sucks. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I've been talking to the camera too much. My wife was talking to telling me the other day that I needed to, to figure out what my weekends are going to be for vlogging. Because I told her I was going to be vlogging every day. And then she said, well, vlogging every day doesn't seem like a good idea. You should have your weekends. When do you have your weekends? And then I told her, I said, well, but we're adventuring every day. So really, I don't have any weekends when we're adventuring. But she said, but you should have weekends for when you're vlogging. And I said, well but I don't want to have weekends when I'm vlogging. I think I can vlog all the time. Maybe in fact I can't vlog all the time. <laughs> Maybe I do need vacations. Maybe every Saturday and Sunday I need to take the days off from vlogging. I don't know. Or maybe today I'm just having a brain fart. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes, you know, you, don't, you shouldn't always think too much into anything. Sometimes you just have those days when when you're just not simply not productive or not productive in the ways that you should be. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But hey, look, I've been able to waste five minutes. 
<laughs> I've been able to waste five minutes just yabbering at you guys. Literally about not being able to talk. I can talk about not being able to talk. Maybe that's what I should talk about today. I don't know. Uh, again, as I say, I have some really good stuff I want to talk to you guys about. But I just can't seem to find a, to get away to can't seem to find a way to put it into the words that I want to put it into. So I guess we will leave it with that. The, the Timikuan uh, Ecological and Historic Preserve, uh, if you guys are interested to go seeing it, it's like, it's like there. Um, it's not that. It's not that. It's kind of like in the middle. Like if you're around the Jacksonville area um, and you need something to do and you haven't done that, definitely go over there and take a look at it. On the other hand, if you've seen plantations and historical sites and all that kind of stuff before, it's kind of like the same old, same old stuff. There's nothing really spectacular there. It's not like a, it's not a colonial Williamsburg. It's not a Magnolia Gardens. It's, uh, it's not really even a Jamestown. You know, even Jamestown had more to it. This is kind of, it feels like the, the, the park service was donated some buildings. And then they, after they were donated the buildings, they went, oh, hey, you know, these are probably historic. And so they slapped some paint on the buildings. And now they have a couple of uh, rangers there. And that's about it. Because you walk in there, and it's really weird. There doesn't seem to be really tours. Even the rangers are kind of disoriented. They're kind of just meandering around, not really doing anything. I don't know. It's kind of a weird place. Kind of a weird place all in all. Like, definitely not bad. Definitely not bad. Definitely, definitely right in the middle. Right, right in the middle, I would say. If you want to go out there and take a look, it's a decent place to go. So, yeah. I don't know. With that, I've successfully successfully wasted seven minutes of both of our times. So, I will go and have some, take a shower and have some bedtime tea and all that. And maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow I can come back and wow you guys with something amazing. It's almost like you wanted to show us that.